70% of our planet is covered by water. The oceans are the habitat of thousands of species of marine organisms which play a key role in the Earth's cycles of fundamental elements like carbon, the so-called biogeochemical cycles. The ecological balance of life in the sea is in danger. Global warming and human activity may dramatically change the world beneath the blue surface. Coastal regions are affected most by human activity. This can cause far-reaching changes in marine ecosystems and consequently in biogeochemical cycles. One striking proof of this is the increased occurrence of widespread eutrophication events. These are enhanced algal growth in response to excessive fertilization of water by nutrients, with harmful consequences not only for marine life. The elements affecting the marine biogeochemical processes are mostly known and starting from this, uh, policies for the protection of the environment have been developed. These policies require the monitoring of uh, environmental indicators. Specific seawater components like microscopic algae called phytoplankton, suspended sediments and dissolved organic matter are natural water quality indicators. Variations in their concentrations cause changes in the color of the sea, or more precisely, in its optical properties. One major achievement of the last few decades was the development of satellite methodologies for remote determination of the optical properties of the water in the upper sea layers. Satellites have become our eyes, giving us an insight into the world of our oceans. Ships and buoys may support monitoring activities by providing water quality parameters at specific sites, but satellite data and interpretation models are the modern tool to get a synaptic view on the ongoing marine biogeochemical processes at global and regional scales. Because of this, uh, space agencies and research institutions collaborated in the development uh, of uh, interpretation models for the quantitative use of satellite data in mapping the materials suspended and dissolved in seawater. This development process requires both experimental and modeling activities, and the final products resulting from the combination of satellite and model data are the basis for global change studies and regional monitoring activities. Three. The Envisat platform, developed and put into space by the European Space Agency, will ensure observation of the Earth's environment over the next five years. Among the different Envisat sensors, MIRIS will contribute to an extended monitoring of the oceans and coastal regions, complementing the chronological and spatial coverage by other space sensors launched by various national and international agencies. The light signal received by a space sensor looking at the surface of the sea results from the interaction of sunlight with molecules and particles in both the atmosphere and the sea. This signal enables the optical properties of the water in the upper sea layers to be determined. Models, generally built on the basis of experimental data, are developed by scientists to link the optical space observations to seawater components with the final aim of producing maps of water quality indicators. The parameters of these models are determined by performing field measurements from ships, oceanographic towers and buoys in areas that are representative for larger marine regions. On platforms like this in the Adriatic Sea off the Venice Lagoon, scientists are investigating the upper sea layers by making optical measurements and collecting water samples. The activities at sea are complemented by laboratory work required for absolute calibration of the optical instruments used at sea, as well as to analyze the water samples from the field.
The seawater samples collected at the tower in the Adriatic arrive at the labs in Ispra. Here, scientists apply state-of-the-art methods to determine the concentration of seawater components and their optical properties. The combined laboratory and field measurements are then used to develop the models required for the production of satellite maps of seawater components. Satellite maps of phytoplankton and biophysical models are then used for both global and regional applications. At the global scale, the aim is the determination of the marine primary production, which is at the basis of the marine food web and a major factor in the reduction of the inorganic carbon from the upper sea layers and the atmosphere. At the regional scale, the aim is the identification of eutrophicated areas in coastal zones. Large amounts of satellite data are currently being recorded and interpreted by scientists in order to investigate the marine world and find answers to specific climate and environmental questions. This involves various disciplines, such as marine biology and chemistry, physics and optics. On a global scale, satellite maps ensure observation of the Earth's seasonal cycle, with quantification of vegetation activity both over land and in the sea. These maps enable marine photosynthetic activity to be quantified, which is an essential element in the removal of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Vegetation activity in the sea also has a determinant impact on the entire marine ecosystem and conditions the entire food web. On a regional scale, the aim is to identify the areas subject to eutrophication. The application of satellite methodologies, combined with biological and physical modeling, allows the determination of different types and intensity of eutrophication phenomena and the monitoring of their evolution over time in the coastal regions of the various countries. The use of these satellite products may help policymakers to improve environmental management of coastal waters and marine waters in general. The tools developed so far, based on advanced satellite technology for observation of the sea, are useful in particular for European environmental legislation and regional marine conventions. These tools are also indispensable for comprehensive investigation of the changes occurring over the entire planet as a result of natural variability and human impact. <laughs>